All right, today, ladies and gentlemen, I got on here to talk about my go-to weapon that I use on Warzone. Uh, I use the XM4 because it is fast speed. You can shoot with long range. Um, I just wanted to share this and try to help people. I also have some settings that I'm going to go over here in a second. Um, I have a lot of experience. I almost have 30 days of hours on Warzone. I have 77 wins. I'm going to show you all that here in a second. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I use as a assault rifle and a sniper. I made a, a few videos on my channel about the guns, but I've changed my guns up so they're a lot better now than what they was. But my still my old setup was kind of a better, but this is really more extreme and faster and more accuracy. So let's get started. What did I use so far is the agency suppressor. Now if you see down here at accuracy and range, it all goes up. Now control, it don't really go up. Now I did have this suppressor on. Now you can see as the range and control goes, the, the range goes down, damage goes down, accuracy goes down. Only thing goes up is control. I don't, I like control of my gun, but I can handle it because I know what it does. So I went down and I switched it. Even though I don't get aim down speed side or aim walking steadiness, it still works because I get more accuracy. I don't get more damage, but I get more range. And that's more, I don't get mobility, but I don't get control. Control really don't stop, but mobility does. All right, let's see. The extended barrel. I use the 13.7 extended barrel. It is the best. Now, if you see right here, you go down and you see it, like damage goes up. Yeah, but look at the range. You know what I mean? Like damage is all right, but you want to get that range. If you can't hit somebody with long range, then, you know, you might as well say the damage ain't going to be no good. So that's what I use for that. Now, you, you might ask for additional help on certain guns. You can ask me. I'm going to show a few other class setups that I use on there. Um... I'm making this video today. They nerfed the DMR and the MAC-10. It really didn't hurt it much because it's still beast, but I never use that gun. And the reason why is because everybody else was using it. I like doing things different than other people. And that's the reason why I started making a YouTube channel to help people. You know, it wasn't just to grow my channel. It was to help people, most importantly. Because I felt like I knew stuff that other people didn't know and they couldn't understand. You know what I mean? I like getting right down to it, you know. I like helping teammates, and I want help back, you know what I mean? If you don't help me back, I won't help you back. You know, it's a two-way street. It's not a one-way street. Most people see it as a one-way street, and that's the problem. All right, let's see here. All right, extended barrel. I did have the infiltrator grip. As you can see right here, movement speed, shooting movement speed, aim movement speed. But if you watch, the accuracy goes down. Now see, mobility, or right here it is. Now accuracy goes up, mobility goes up. But control goes down, most importantly. Now I can handle the control. It's just the mobility and the accuracy that I need. You know what I mean? The farther the shot I can hit you, it might not do much damage. But the more bullets I send at you, I can control with the mobility. You know, that's more movement, you know, like I'm running up on somebody, more mobility with my gun. It's lightweight. It's not heavy and holding me down. All right, now, uh, I've been using the 45 round mag, just the regular. Now, it says plus ammo capacity. It don't give you more ammo. I don't know why they lie and say it does, but it don't. It says max starting ammo plus, you know, capacity plus. That's all bullshit. Don't listen to it. Because it don't give you fucking plus ammo. But I did use the speed mag. Okay, I figured, well, if I ain't going to have ammo, least I could have is all these plus, uh, pros instead of cons. You see, I only got one con, but look at that, four pros. You know, it's a lot better for my gun. So I kind of figured that out. You know, 60-round mag is cool, but you're using a lot of ammo. 
You know, you need to conserve that ammo. And 45 rounds, you can kill two people. Not thirst them, but you can down them and then kill. You can down two people with one clip. You know, and then go for that third, for that second clip. Uh, let's see. All right, the Micro Flex LED. I've been using it. I was using the Mill Stop Reflex Sight, but as you can see, it really don't make a difference until you get on accuracy. The accuracy goes up right there on a the micro LED. It's a lot better. Plus, it's thin around it, so you can, like, see. You know, if you see, like, these, see how thick they are, like the squareness. You can't see or the circleness. You can't see around it. None of these. I mean, only one that's real good. I mean, that one right there, the diamond back reflex side, it's kind of good. But you got to look at the mobility, the range, the damage, the accuracy. All that stuff matters on here. And that's the reason why I use the micro LED. It don't do much on the range, damage, accuracy, but the accuracy, it does do a little bit. You know, control, mobility, none of that stuff works. Yo, what up, skunk? I'm in the middle of a video. Anyway, as I was saying, I use the micro LED reflex side for my X, XM4. Customization, I got a camo, policia camo on here that I've been using. I'm almost going to unlock the gold on here. I still ain't unlocked yet. I got 28 out of 35 to unlock that. I can't wait to unlock that. All right, well, let, let me see the charm. I got a, I got a, a noble sacrifice charm, season one for Call of Duty, Cold War. Cold War's badass right now. If y'all like that, if y'all like uh, Cold War, I got some videos on it. You can check down on my YouTube channel. All right, let's go for the Rytec. The Rytec, I got the AMR Suppressor Rytec. Now, it's the best one. It's long range plus it's quieter. Now, if you use the Rytec, it's normally a lot louder than most guns. So, that's the reason why I use the Suppressor. Plus, all my friends was bitching about it. Now, if you can see, it only has two options, the bull barrels or the, the silencer. So, I went with the muzzle. You know, it, it gives accuracy, it gives range. I mean, it does help a lot, but control and mobility goes down. So, y'all need to watch that. But you get two pros and you get two cons. So, y'all can take it, you know, the way y'all want it. Uh, the F-Tac straight barrel. Now, I never changed barrels. Now, I did change some stuff up with my XM4, but this gun right here, you don't need to change nothing with it but the stock. Now, I did change the stock to it, but as you can see, you have pros and you have cons. You got three pros and you got two cons. Now, that helps, but as you can see, the accuracy goes up, the range goes up, the mobility goes down, but the control goes up. And that's what I'm looking for, is more control, more damage, more range, and accuracy. That's the main things you're looking for for a sniper rifle. Now, most people use bipods on here, stuff like that. I don't never use that shit. Like, I'll just hide behind a tree and snipe at people. Like, that's my best way to do it. Most people use the explosive rounds and the thermites rounds. I don't use that. Um, people said it's a lot better and stuff. I don't see it. Use a regular bullet. It works just as better as any of them other ones does. Now, rear grips. Now, you do get three different rear grips. I was using the rubberized grip. Yeah, because it gives you plus recoil. It does do that. I was using the stipple grip tape, too, because it gives you two pros and one con. But as you can see, mobility, range, a little bit of accuracy, looks like. And control. Control goes down. That is a, an unfortunate side effect to it. But instead of changing any of that, just leave that normal. Go up here and put the XRK Master Dot. Master Dot, whatever you call it. It's a lot better. It gives more accuracy, uh, more control. Mobility goes down, obviously. But it's a lot better. Now, let's see, you can use all this stuff, but. None of this stuff really works. Mobility goes up, but accuracy and control goes down. You don't want that. You want the best one. Aim and stability is best.
Now you can look at this gun. The way I got it, I got the variable zoom on it. It's all nice to set up. Looks good when you're looking down the side of it. You know, it's golden. I got the pot leaves sticker on it, or the blueprint. It's a beast. Uh, always use fully loaded too. Now, most people don't do that. They put like slide of hand or something on there, bullshit. I always use fully loaded. Because if you ever play with me, you know I always need ammo. Like, it might shoot five shots around, but by the time you empty a lot of clips, you know, you ain't got none. So that's the reason why I use fully loaded. Uh, optic. Now, I use the variable zoom scope. Now, I, most of my friends are liking this scope since I told them about it. Ghost Ranger is one of them. Uh, he really likes it. He's trying to put it on his DMR or uh, what's that other new sniper? The Tacumba or whatever. Whatever that sniper is. Uh, he's trying to put it on that. And it's apparently working for his other guns. He just ain't got it unlocked. But uh, the variable zoom, the ranges goes up crazy and their accuracy. Only thing I don't like about it is the mobility and the control goes down. But another thing about it is people can see your glare. Now, it's another thing I hate about people can see your glare. But most of the time, I shoot them down by the time they see me. Unless they got, like, thermal on and I can't see their glare. You know, unless they're high and sniping at me. You know, I tried these other ones. The Thermal Dude Power Scope was my go-to weapon of uh, choice uh, for the scope because nobody couldn't see the glare but they changed it back in season six i think the beginning of it maybe season five uh they changed it made it darker or lighter i don't know it just looks different and not even worth fucking using no more uh, let's see here all right that's pretty much all for my Rytec class if y'all have any questions about it Please hit me up. Uh, I got the cross thread, crosshairs on it. Best one. I ain't got none of my stuff unlocked. I got the golden pair of walnuts. My golden nuts. I like that. I got the high ground, up in smoke, barely glowing, toxic, and then bulletproof, heavy rain. That's my stickers. That's the reason why it looks so badass on her. I mean, look at that that gun look how long it is it's a heavy son of a bitch when you're playing warzone 2 i've noticed it when i've switched it on and off that gun weighs you down a lot but i still beast at it and that's the most important thing when you're playing on here uh perks i always use cold-blooded overkill and tuned up and with them are the best perks i can use on our cold-blooded helps with the thermals if anybody's using thermals it really helps from that and plus from high alert warnings does not trigger so if somebody's got high alert warnings and you look at them it'll start glowing their screen yellow from a certain right side or left side or in front and then they'll know somebody's looking at them about to snipe them so that's the reason why i use that so nobody can't tell what i'm snapping at them or looking at them Overkill is obviously so I can have two weapons at once instead of a rifle and a pistol. I can have two primaries. I can have a sniper and I can have an assault rifle. And that's the only two things you need on here. I'm telling you. You got your good sniper rifle and you got your good salt. The salt is for up close and personal. The sniper is for long range, 800, 900 meters. I've killed people on here. I've got videos of uh, tuned up the reason why I use that that's my third perk uh, it reduces the charge time of the field upgrade by 40% and in warzone only it reduces the revive time by 25% so what that's saying is that I can revive my teammates up to 25% faster you know and if you think about that when you're under fire you got all your guys are down you're trying to save them you need that 25 extra percent to help your guys i'm telling you uh, i used to use amped up it's faster to sway your weapons or shrapnel but that's in multiplayer that's a whole nother video uh lethals now i do use, do use the simtex now i use them because i can uh attach them on vehicles when they're running by me if like a vehicle goes by or a truck or um a blazer or a uh what's it 
what's them called, a razors, them little razor vehicles that goes by on four wheels. Um, I use them, I can stick them right on the side of them, blow them up, damage them, kill a whole squad. I've done it multiple times. Um, the tacticals. Now, I use a heartbeat sensor. It's like a miniature radar, and it's perfect. Like, if anybody has a loadout, I'm telling you, you need this setup right here. This setup right here. But you can't just get this set up and think you're going to be beast automatically. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm here to tell people. You can't do that. You've got to learn and you've got to practice with this stuff. You know, I've got almost 30 days of hours on here, you know, of Warzone. So I've been there, done that a thousand times. I know what it is. I got 77 wins. I'm almost 80 to wins. Plus, I've actually got more wins, but they just don't count on there for some reason. I don't know. I got stuck at 74 forever. I won like five games, and I was still stuck at 74. And then finally, it started going up. I don't know. I think it's some kind of glitch. I Twittered uh, Warzone about it, but they ain't got back with me. I'm still waiting confirmation for that. Uh, let's see. I got an AUG class set up right here that I've used for Warzone. This is the best class right here for the AUG. My go-to. It used to be. This is when I first started playing Warzone. I got it golden. I decked it all out. As you can see, I got old stickers on it, you know. That's how old. It's 2020, yeah, but it's the beginning of it, you know. Like, the fourth month of 2020 is when Warzone come out. So, you know, this is going to be the first year, full year, that we're going to have Warzone. And these guns and classes that I still have are set up. Like, this right here is still OP. You know, even though they nerfed it back then, it's still OP. So is my XM4. My XM4, my Ryotech class that I just showed you before that, now that is new. That is Season 7 up-to-date stuff that I got set up for it. Uh, let's see. I also use a Java or a Pala, whatever it's called. It's like a hookah, you know. It locks onto targets like choppers, vehicles, everything. Trucks. Also, I get two classes each game. I get uh, my ghost. Cl I get my sniper class first, and then I'll get a ghost class. And everybody needs to do that. That way, they stay under the radar during their battle royale game. That is the most important thing. You get two loadouts, but when, once you get your first loadout, that's your main primary weapon you're going to keep with. And then after you get that, you get another loadout. You go up here to your second one, and you get Ghost. And then you drop all these guns, and you get your other class. And that really helps. Uh, let's see. I got a, I got a, a CR Amax on here that I got all decked out. I got right here. GI Mini Reflex Sight, 45 round mag, fully loaded, Commando 4 grip, monolithic suppressor. That's a bad motherfucker right there. I'm telling you. The only thing I hate about this gun is the recoil. That's the only problem about this gun is the recoil. It's awful. But once you get used to it, you'll be able to handle it. You'll be able to, you know, memory muscle it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, right here. I got a badass growl class set up that I want to share with you all. Now, this right here is season 7 up to date right here. Now, I got the monolithic suppressor, the Tempest 26.4 arch angle, the TAC laser, no optic, no stock, fully loaded perk, no rear grip, no under barrel. Only thing you need is a 50 round mag in that bitch, and that's all you need right there. And right here's the, the, uh, the stickers and the charm and all that stuff I use. Use iron sights. It's the best, I'm telling you. Once you get the hang up, you can't just use these classes that I'm showing you, though. You have to use them for a while to get used to them, you know. I mean, you can't just grab them and think, hey, I'm going to be a beast motherfucker today. You know, it, ain't, it, it might work out, it might not, you know. I just don't want you all to be disappointed when it don't. When you're like, oh, well, these guns ain't this because I died multiple times. Well, it's memory muscle. You got to learn how to use it. And if you ever watch my videos, you'll know I'm a bad motherfucker when I get warmed up. Now, it normally takes me a couple hours to get warmed up on there, but I'm pretty beast when I get warmed up. Uh, I don't use the Mac 10 MP7. Now, this is my other Warzone class I had set up on the beginning of it. I had my MP7 as my primary, and I had the HDR 
50 cal for my secondary and that's that's pretty much all you need so that that's when that sniper was out though they didn't have all these other snipers out this is back when it first started i got that right there i always uh never use the silencer on it because it's a lot better i don't know why silencers are trash for the hdr Use the 26.9 HDR Pro Barrel with attack laser with thermal dual power scope. Fully loaded with a 9 round mag and that's all you fucking need. Put that fucking, uh, put that grit, or that, uh, that cloak stuff on the end of your barrel. It looks like a sniper. You know, gillied up sniper is what it looks like. That's the stickers I got and stuff. Death. Yeah, most people like my stickers and stuff. Camo really don't matter as long as you got something with leaves you're looking like. I've been wearing a ghillie suit also on here. Uh, it's kind of, you know, kind of covering my guy up in the green paint with the stripes. Got my little German Shepherd with me. That's all you need on here. All right, let's see. I'm going to go to barracks and show you my record on here. Let's go to kills. All right, on my friends list, I got 700 friends on here. Over 550 some are on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone. My kills are 7,200. I got deaths 5,271. My kill death ratio is 1.37, and average kill slash game is three. Now, that's that's pretty much what. I've done on there. That's a lot of kills. 7,000 guys on here. Imagine that. And they some salty motherfuckers. I'm telling you. Uh, wins. Now right here's my wins. I'm 17th rank on it. Out of 550 some people. I got 77 wins. Top 10. 642. Kills. 7,200. Yeah. 7,200. Downs. 6,960. You know, I'm even beating Rice Picker. Rice Picker, he's been playing this game. He was playing this game when it first came out, too. He was ahead of me the whole time. Now he's below my ass, and he's going to stay. Uh, let's see. Score. No, no, no. Right here, score. This is to tell you how much time's played. Now, see, I almost got 30 days on here. I'm ranked at 22 out of 550 on my friends list. Score. Uh, 82,221.40. I don't know how to say that. I think it's 800,222.140. I don't know. Uh, average time played 26 days, 9 hours, and 20 minutes. It's time played on Warzone. Uh, my games, I played 2,350 games. That's a lot of damn games, boys and girls. Average score, I get 3,000 score. I normally get about 3,000 damage. 3,498 score. Average score on each game. So, that ain't bad at all. That's a lot of time played, too. It means I got a lot of time on there. Accommodations. You can see, I got a lot of accommodations on here. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, settings. That's what I was going to do. Alright, let's go to controller. If y'all are watching, y'all watch my videos, y'all think I'm badass. Now, here comes the settings. Alright. Now, button layout, I normally don't do. Stick laid out, that's default. I always keep that shit default. Dead zone, always turn that up. That way your controller is dead. That way it ain't moving up in the air. Because your controller's fucked up sometimes. Uh, horizontal stick sensitivity insane 20 vertical stick sensitivity is insane 20 20 20 you know that's the way I had it you know you can't go up you can't go I can go down but I want to go up more I wish I could at least 2021 you know uh, add sensitivity multiplayer low zoom add sensitivity multiplayer high zoom I got that one most people turn that up most people turn that down I don't give a shit they they kind of say well why don't you mess with it because you don't need to it's perfect the way it is uh, aim response curve type dynamic I've always kept that dynamic that's the best way to go 
uh, controller vibration. Disable that immediately. Anytime you play a, a war game, you don't need that vibration fucking with you. And it does. People are like, oh, no, it don't. If you're deep down, if you watch your controller and you're aiming and it's vibrating, you can't get a good steady beat on somebody. And that's the reason why. Battlefield 5, when I used to play that, I was the top 23 of the world up on there with my clan, the Kentucky clan. And still yet, I had the controller vibration on. I wasn't that smart then. Now, I've learned a thing or two. And that's the reason why I'm trying to help other people. Uh, aim, aim assist, I got that standard. Now, I watched another guy on YouTube set his up. And he was showing the different patterns of standard and precision. And what's the other one? Uh, precision focusing. Now, I did have it on precision because you think aim assist, you want precision. But the grooving don't work. Now, if you have standard, say a guy, you're walking in war zone and you're around the stadium and there's a guy in the bush, okay, and you walk past him. Well, your controller, your, your, your guy with the gun, he's going to be like a magnet. It's going to be like pulling your gun right toward that bush. And you're going to be wondering, well, why my gun pointing toward that bush magnetized? Because you got standard on it. like a magnet on to somebody. It lets you know when they're there. Precision don't. Focusing don't. They're both trash. Just use standard. I don't like standard, but it's badass when you use it. I used to use dynamic with uh, precision. Now I don't. I use standard and dynamic. Um... Weapon mount, I don't mess with that. Uh, reload slash, use slash reload behavior. You want to tap to use. Now, tap to use means that you want to tap the loot to grab it. Like, hit square button, just grab everything real quick. You don't have to sit and hold the button and look at it. It's real quicker. And that's the reason why I use it. I did change it. I had it before where I could just tap my button, my square button, and I reload. But now I got it set up where I have to hold the square button to reload because that messes it up. I'll be able to get into vehicles quicker and be able to pick up loot faster, but to reload faster, that's the tricky thing. You got to hold the button, square button down to do that. And that's what I do. Uh, deleted ammo, weapon switch. No. You don't need to mess with none of this stuff. Now I hear, I've spots. been hearing my friends talk about auto sprint. Now they normally been putting that on. Uh, they've been putting that auto instead of disabled. I just disable mine. You don't need auto sprint. You know, sometimes you're trying to get cover, and you'll auto sprint past the cover, and that's what will happen. Um, now, uh, uh, parachute auto deploy. Now I do keep that. I do have that uh, disabled because. When you're playing in Warzone, the redeployment, you can just keep crashing to the ground. And that helps. Uh, general settings. Uh, film grain, you want that zero. Uh, I'm not colorblind. Uh, world motion blur. You want to disable that. Weapon motion blur. You want to disable that. Anytime you get into a game, you need to go into the settings and figure this stuff out. Because it will really help you. After you figure it out, you'll be a lot better in your games. Uh, mini map shape size. You want that square. You don't want that circle because circle cuts the edges out of it. Okay, square you can see a lot more, as you can see on the screen. Uh, mini map rotation. You want to enable that because you'll be looking opposite. That way you can see more ahead of you instead of more behind you. That's another reason why I set that up. Uh, Pretty much all on that. Audio, you want the audio, you want that boosted high. Fix that up high. Uh, that's pretty much it about that. Um, if y'all like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that notifications button down below and please comment down below. If these settings help you and these go-to loadouts, anything on this video helps you, please tell me and let me know. I appreciate it. Thank you.